everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for joining me for tea time. Today we have just some green tea, that's it. Plain, clean, green tea. I need a little spunk today. It's been a crazy weekend. I'm gonna get into it in just a second. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so very much. All of the new folks that have subbed to the channel, Wow, I don't even know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And look at those comments, guys. Over the last three, four videos, there has been thousands and thousands and thousands of comments. And I try to get to every one of them. Lately, I haven't been able to get to all of them, but I would say probably about 75% of them, um, I try to answer or at least read through. So anyways, let me get right into it. To the point, what is it? We're gonna talk Adobe one more time today, and what is it about? It is my test driving of life after Adobe, cutting the cord. And I made a playlist regarding this. In all of these type of videos that I do about moving away from Adobe, I stick into that playlist. So go in there and go check out those videos. You can see why we did it and where we are right now. Okay, so to sum up, because some of you are just joining me and you haven't been watching and you haven't seen those other videos. So let me just sum up. Now, video number one that I did, I first spoke about Adobe going from $9.99 to $19.99. They did an A-B comparison, an A-B test, all right? And some people were getting the price of $19.99. Some people were getting the price of $9.99 for the photography plan. And people were upset, all right? They were really, really upset. After this happened, Adobe said, oh, wait a second, we, don't, we can't do that, all right? This is a pain point. We cannot go up to that 20 buck for the photography plan, so they nixed it. Well, only a couple of days later, and regarding the second video that we did, basically what Adobe did was say, all software older than two versions old is going to be deleted from their server. And that's what they did. So people that were running older machines or maybe studios that have specific hardware that requires an older operating system, now they can no longer use the Adobe software because they're only allowing you to download two versions back. It's, a, it's an issue behind it. If you go take a look at the video, I'll get a little bit more detailed, but that's the gist of it. Then two days after that, Adobe comes back, and this is the third video I did, comes back with, hey, we no longer allow you to download these older versions. And if you have these older versions on your system, you must delete them now not later, right now, or you might be infringing on someone's intellectual property and there could be litigation involved. What? <laughs> you have an old version of Adobe CC that you require because your studio has older machines because maybe they have a machine that requires an older OS and now you have to delete the software or you might be infringing upon someone's copyright, someone's IP, someone's intellectual property. Could be Dolby Digital, I don't know. We put that out there, check out that video. Then what happened was a fourth video came out, was I said, you know what? It's kind of enough with Adobe. I've been with them for so long, maybe I need to try something else. And that's when I came out with this whole life after Adobe, cutting the cord series that we're putting together, right? And I spoke about all of the different options that were currently available on the market. So you had, well, not, I shouldn't say all because I didn't touch on all of them, but a whole bunch of them from Photoshop to Illustrator to whatever. And I listed a whole bunch of other options that you can possibly use. And you guys were really happy about that. Now, I'm gonna check out a lot of them. And you told me about all the ones that I missed. So I added those into this list. So I'm going to, in this, let's say description, as well as in the comment area, probably a pinned at the top, I'll put a link so you can go and take a look at all of those available options. And like I said, this link is going to a list that I'm gonna to continue to add and modify, all right? So if you're watching this six months down the road, it's okay, go take a look at the list. It should be pretty up to date. Anyways, let me preface this with, I have been 
an Adobe professional, been using Adobe for my professional work for two decades plus, way back before it was even CS, before it was a creative suite, way at the very beginnings of Photoshop, all right? So I am that professional photographer, videographer, artist, inventor, teacher, YouTuber, all right, that they target with their complete bundle because I used a majority of it. All right. I'm not just using one thing like Lightroom and then that's it. No, I'm using like just about everything. So I am that guy that's paying the $53 a month. Well, prior, I've been paying about $29.99, somewhere around there, because I got a really good deal way back at the very beginnings. Remember, I've been with them since day one. All right. Even with CC, I was been with them since literally the moment that they came out. So I got a really good deal. It was paying $29.99. Well, they're constantly going up 10 bucks, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. It's like that little chisel, that little chip and chip. And you're constantly getting that little ding. Well, now they're moving up to the $52.99 for my plan because it's over in May. And I'm like, you know, $52.99 now, can I afford it? Absolutely. All right. I'm a professional. Can I pay, you know, $636 a year on software that helps me do my business, helps me do my work? Absolutely. It's a write off. Okay. But there's a little bit more to it. And it's the same thing what you guys said. Well, not only I and you are sick of renting, leasing, never owning anything. But also the way that they've been treating their clients, the way they've been treating their customers as of late, it just doesn't make me happy, nor you guys. And that's why you guys were saying, well, we don't really want to stay with Adobe anymore. It's just, it's just, it's just not, it doesn't feel right. And it's the same thing with me. I look at it and I've been with them for so long. It just, something doesn't feel right. It just simply doesn't. So I said, you know what? Maybe now that I've given them tens of thousands of dollars, over the last 20, let's call it years, all right, maybe it's time for me to pull the plug, cut the cord, and see how life after Adobe would be. As I said in my previous videos, if I can't do it, all right, so be it. I will mea copa and go right back to Adobe and just carry on. But if I can, I might as well try, right? You guys have asked for it, so I'm gonna do it. And instead of being one of these people that just talk about something, talk the talk and never walk the walk, I said, well, maybe I need to walk the walk on this one and actually do it, all right? So this is where we've kind of come and where we are. Now, so what I did is I called Adobe on the weekend yesterday, and what did I get? You've reached Adobe Customer Care. We are here to help 24 hours a day from Monday to Friday. On the weekend, you can reach us on chat and forums at adobe.com slash get support. Are you me? Thank you. Are you for real? Really? Really? Adobe Corporation doesn't work on the weekend? <laughs> what? Guys, this is a $134 billion market cap company. Okay. Can they not get a couple of guys over there in Dubai or something to answer the damn phone? Really? <laughs> I was floored. I was floored. I couldn't even talk to someone to try to cancel this account, right? I couldn't even talk to anybody. I'm like, what is that? That is ridiculous, guys. That is, in its face, absolutely just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway, so I go and log into my account. I'm like, well, I'm going to go into my account and do the cancellation there, go through it and see how to do it. So what I did is I went there and I found that there was options. You had manage your account. You have changed my plan. You have canceled my plan. So what did I do? Of course, I went straight to cancel my plan and a bunch of options pull up. It gave me a whole big list of why I'm canceling. Okay, well, I guess they need to know why people are leaving, right? So of course, I went to the other button, clicked that and entered in all of my <sighs> nastiness as to why I'm going to be leaving, right? I'm like, ah, someone will read it. No, they won't. No, they won't. <laughs> but it made me feel better, right? So I put in all that information on why. Now, the next screen pops up and we have three more options. Now, in this one, we have find a better plan. And if you go there, you can see basically the plan that you have now and lower grade plans. So that really doesn't do too much. The next option, which was very interesting, is free for 60 days. We don't want you to leave. This is a special offer. 
Don't even worry about it. As of right now, you're going to get 60 days free. You don't have to pay anything. And then you can decide. That's pretty good. So if any of you guys are thinking about leaving Adobe, remember, as of right now, they have this option. You go there, you tell them that you want to cancel. It says, hey, don't cancel yet. Here's 60 days free. Go ahead and take it. Go ahead and take it. Take your 60 days free and then test out other software. It's a smart thing to do. Did I do that? Kind of not really. The next option was check for a custom deal. So I'm like, oh, a custom deal? Well, here they're giving you 60 days free. What kind of custom deal could there be, right? So I clicked on that and it popped up a chat window. And all of a sudden comes a rep and his name was Kajul, I think. Kajul, I don't know, something like that. If I butchered his name, I'm sorry. Anyways, Kajul comes in and he writes, Christina, as we really appreciate you using our service for a long time, what best I can do for you? I can help you with the discounted plan again, which is USD $29.99 per month for Creative Cloud All Apps. Obviously, English is not his first language, which is fine. Basically, what he's saying is I can help you with $29.99 all right, going forward for a year and it would stay at that price. So I wouldn't be paying $53, let's call it, for the everything plan, all right? I would only be paying 30. So that was kind of nice. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, well, maybe I'll take that 60 day and not do this. Now, why was I thinking about this? Well, if you take the one year plan from these people. It doesn't matter if you do it online with them or if you do it in your account or whatever. If you take the $29.99 plan or any of these discounted plans, remember they're contractual plans. So when you do that, you will get that $29.99 price, right? And you will pay that monthly for a full 12 months. If, for example, you discontinue after a month's time, they charge you a 50% I'm leaving fee. So what that means is if it's 360, take one month out, 330, cut that in half, 165 bucks. So after a month, I would have to give Adobe 165 bucks for doing it. I didn't want to do that. So I told, you know, Kajul there, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. I went back to the cancellation button and this time I just went through with it. I click cancel and they said, this doesn't mean goodbye. You can still use all of these free pieces of software that are currently on your computer, Spark and whatnot, okay? So what I did was literally 30 seconds after canceling the Adobe Creative Suite, 30 seconds, I opened up Lightroom. And what does it say? It says, this is the last time you can launch Lightroom Classic CC. <laughs> what? This is the last time, guys. What is that all about? Now, I remember years ago, if you discontinued with them, you would still be able to go into Lightroom. You would be able to go into your library module, see all of your images, export if you need to, but you couldn't go into your develop module to develop any more images. Makes sense. Well, as of now, as far as I see, you cannot go into your, <laughs> into your library. You can't go into your develop module. You can't go into anything. You basically, as they say, this is the last time you can launch Lightroom Classic CC. Done. Done. That's it, guys. Done. So bear that in mind, all right? Bear that in mind. If you decide to pull the plug on them, they're pulling the plug on you 100%. Not 75%, 90%, whatever. 100%. You're gone, all right? And it says if you want to get back your data, let's say, or if you want to get in there to go see your stuff, you can, but you have to go re-up with another contract. So literally at this point, it kind of pissed me off. I said, you know what? I went into my system, I loaded up their, their Adobe Creative software, and I ticked every single product, and I deleted every one of them. And then I went in and made sure that all of the free stuff was deleted too. Killed it all, and then went back in again and deleted their Creative Suite software that goes and keeps everything up to date and phones home all the time. As you can see, within 30 seconds, it already phoned home and said that I no longer have a contract with them, a subscription with them. Nixed, all right? So every single thing. Now, do I think that this is going to hurt Adobe in any way? Absolutely not. I really don't. But if more of us do this, yes, 
It's a little ding in their armor. Remember this, guys. Adobe doesn't make money off this software as you think it does, all right? Adobe makes the majority of their money through their Adobe Experience platform, which is this marketing analysis platform that they do, all right? They made like, I think it was $9 billion last year on that system, on that thing that they do. All right, that's where they make a lot of their money. They're making a ton off that. This Creative Cloud is making them a lot of money also, but not nearly as much. Year over year, they're looking at 24% increase on this Adobe Experience program that they're doing. All right, I think they even got involved with Microsoft sharing data. I don't know, some kind of nonsense. You guys can look it up. So do I think that this will affect them? Probably not, but if a lot of us do this and cut the cord, I think it will affect them in a way that the shareholders will see that slight dip in the price. Now, if you look at how much they're trading for, you're looking at 200, upper is $270, $280 a share. As you can see, they have really been making some money as of late. Look at this shares from like, down in like the 60s and 70s at the beginning of this chart, which is right around 2014 to now you're looking at, you know, 270, getting close to $300. And Forbes and a lot of other companies were saying, hey, we think that Adobe is going to be hitting that $400 um, a share mark possibly in the next year or two. That's amazing. So their shares are going up. But I do think as of late, there's been a lot of negativity towards them because of their market practices. The stuff that they're doing, they're doing this shady stuff according to Dolby and it just doesn't look good. Some people or maybe a lot of people vote with their wallet and say, you know what? I'm not really happy with this company. I'm not gonna give them money, period. Now, this all being said, I need to move quickly, right? By doing what I'm doing and getting rid of all Adobe products, means that moving forward with all of my client work, I have to use other software. So this makes me get off that comfy couch that used to be Adobe and get out there and test a lot of software. I figured this was a way to do it properly because if I kind of half-assed it, so to speak, and have this parachute that I can just pull the you know, shoot on and say, you know what? No problem, I'm going right back to Adobe. I'm making it more difficult on myself. Yes, I can go back and get a new account and restart the whole thing and download all of the gigs and gigs and gigs and software on all of the machines here in the studio, but it's a difficult process. So I figured doing it this way is going to make me really test things out and find alternatives that will really work for my business. And that's what we're going to be doing here on this life after Adobe cutting the cord thing that I'm working on. So don't get me wrong. It's gonna be a scary process, honestly. That's just the way it is. And like I said before, if it doesn't work out, I'm gonna mea copa and go right back to Adobe. And I'm gonna say, guys, I couldn't do it. My business requires it. I have to have it. And maybe that's the same thing that you guys might find out. So for you, like I said before, don't do what I'm doing and just going cold turkey and deleting all Adobe software, all right? Don't do that. Take that 60 days, all right, for free. Don't pay Adobe for those 60 days and test out other software before you actually take the plunge. See if you personally or you as a business can actually use other software or not right? Like I said, don't do as I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what do you think? Are you going to join me? Are you already maybe Adobe free or is Adobe something that you must have for your business? Or finally, is Adobe something that you just absolutely love? And you look at me like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? He's nuts. <laughs> what is it? Let's chat about it. Let's talk about it. So once again, as always, if you enjoy my content, please throw me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon so when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years and hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me. That would be stellar. So guys, I'm out of here. I am Adobe free. I have cut the cord, but now I need to go find some software so I can do some client work. <laughs> Take care guys. Happy shooting.